Hi, everybody. This is Miss Walker, and I'm going to be reading the story called Earth Day Hooray. Now, you remember, you have other stories to choose from, but if you chose Earth Day Hooray, it tells you right here that this is about place value. Remember, this week in math, we've been learning about place value. Okay, so this story is going to have place value in it. Your job is to listen for the connections between this story and what we've learned in class. This is your Friday homework. So you are going to have an assignment after you've listened to the story. You're not just going to listen to my lovely voice. You're going to have to do something. So at the end of the story, you can either go to Google Forms, click which story you listen to, and tell me how does this connect to what we've learned in math this week and also what you learned from reading the story. If you don't want to type it out, you can do Flipgrid and you can record yourself telling us about what connections you made between the story and what we've done in class and tell us what you've learned. I'll be asking some questions throughout the story. You can answer those questions in your video. You can show any work, any notes that you took during the video. So you may need pencil and paper so that you can take those notes. If you need to get those things, pause the video. We're going to go ahead and start. This story, again, is called Earth Day Hooray. It is by Stuart J. Murphy. I will be reading a lot of books by him because he's an amazing author, and he has a lot of math books. So buckle in and get ready. This place is a mess, said Ryan. That's why we're cleaning it up, said Carly. Come on. Pitch in. The Maple Street School Save the Planet Club was cleaning up Gilroy Park, the site of this year's Earth Day celebration. They picked up candy wrappers, crumpled newspaper, empty coffee cups, old flyers, lost tennis balls, and lots of aluminum cans. You know, said Ryan, even after we're finished cleaning the park, it won't look all that great. It could really use some flowers at the entrance. Gilroy Park had a few trees and some grass, and that was it. Here is a little um, information, and there's information on almost every page, so I'm gonna go ahead and read that. It says, in 1999, recycling and composting kept about 64 billion we don't go to billions in fourth grade. 64 billion tons, we learn about tons in the next module, of trash from ending up in landfills or being burned, which pollutes the air. If we take all these cans to the recycling center, instead of throwing them away, Ryan continued, they'll give us money for each can. Maybe we can make enough to buy some flowers to plant. Hmm. They're gonna get money for each can. I want you to think, what operation could you use and why? You'll get money for each can. Every can is gonna be worth some money. Hmm. Mrs. Watson, the club advisor, thought Ryan's idea was fantastic. She said, if you can get, that number is 5,000, it is in standard form. I'm going to read that sentence again. If you can get 5,000 cans, that should be enough for some really beautiful flowers. I bet we won't find that many, said Luke. Here's your little information. Companies pay recyclers about $1 billion a year to buy aluminum. Hmm. The club sorted all the cans they found. Ryan, Carly, and Luke filled small bags with 10 cans each. Hmm. So each small bag, so one small bag has 10 cans. Let's double check. You can count by twos, two, four, six, eight, ten. So there are ten cans. So, hmm, that's kind of like having 
10 ones, you bundle it into one 10. Hmm. I'm not going to help you with this next one. When they had 10 small bags, they put them in a big bag that held 100 cans. So they would be easier to count. Hmm. That sounds like something that we did this week. So you have 10 groups of 10 and that makes 100. Think about how that connects to math that we did this week. One more time. 10 ones is the same as a group of 10, one 10. 10 tens is 100. Think about that place value. They ended up with three big bags of 10. Oops, nope. I read that wrong. They ended up with three big bags of 100, five small bags of 10, and nine single cans. Okay. They left the bags near the trash bin so that Mrs. Watson could pick them up that evening. Now this girl says that's a total of 359. I knew we wouldn't get 5,000. He's a negative Nancy. I don't like that. We gotta be positive. All right, let's double check and make sure that she counted correctly. So I'm going to start with my largest number, and I'm going to count these by 100. Got 100, hope you're counting with me, 200, 300. Then we have 10, so we have 310, 320, 330, 340, 350, plus 9, which gives us 359. If you wanted to do it in expanded form, 300 plus 50 plus 9 is 359. My buttons aren't available, so I cannot draw for you on the screen. I'm sorry about that. Continuing on. But the next morning at school, Mrs. Watson called Ryan, Carly, and Luke to her desk. Bad news, she said. The trash collector at the park didn't realize the cans were for recycling. He took them to the dump with the rest of the trash. I knew it, said Luke. I knew we'd never do it. Ooh, Luke is a little bit dramatic. The teacher says, don't give, oh, no, the teacher does not say. Ryan says, don't give up, said Ryan. We can still collect cans. We'll have a can drive right here at school. I don't know, said Luke doubtfully. It will only work if a lot of people bring in cans. Here's your little fact. Americans use more than 80 billion aluminum cans a year. Remember, we don't go to the billions. Americans save 247 million pounds of paper every day to be reused and recycled. So not only are we learning about math and place value, we're looking at this, we, we know that these places over here, we've got ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, million. So if we cut this number off, if we cut the two and the four off, this right here would be seven million. Okay. Now, we're also learning about recycling. So that also ties into our science with Mr. Johnson. Okay. Over here we have more facts. It says it takes only 60 days for an aluminum can to be turned in, melted down, and made into a new can. In the year 2000, Americans recycled more than 1,500,000 pounds of plastic bottles. Now this was a big number. Ms. Walker had to look at that because I know that if you have one comma here that separates your units period from your thousands period. So I know that this would be 100,000 and then the next you'd have your millions. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, millions. That's its value. All right. Look at their sign. They're trying to get 5,000. Right now they have zero. Here we go. The custodian, Mrs. Jones, set up a barrel in the hallway, and Luke made a big sign. 
Mrs. Watson helped Brian print up a flyer announcing their goal. Carly drew a cartoon. The next day, a few kids brought in cans. After school, Ryan, Carly, and Luke went to check out the barrel. They sorted the cans into bags. They had five small bags of 10 and six single cans. That makes 56. Oh, we'll never get anywhere at this rate. All right, let's double check her counting. We do have one, two, three, four, five groups of 10. So we can say five tens is 50, and one, two, three, four, five, six cans. 50 plus six gives us 56. You can also count by threes, three, six. You can count by twos, two, four, six. Okay, you could count these tens by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56. But most of the time, it's just easier to say I've got five groups of 10, that's 50, and I have six left over. 50 plus 6, 56. Carla wrote 56 on the sign. We need to get more kids to help, she said. Carly, Luke, and Ryan got permission to visit every class and ask for help with the can drive. Carly worked all night so she would be ready. All right, here are some more facts. In the year 2000, Americans recycled 1,900,000,000 pounds of aluminum. Okay. Here's another fact over here. The first Earth Day celebration was on April 22nd, 1970. About 20 million people participated. So this number right here is 20 million. After school, Ryan, Carly, and Luke stopped at every park and field and picked up every can they saw. So they are picking up cans. Look, the dog is passing them a can. Squirrel's passing them a can. Hopefully he doesn't throw his can out the window because that would be littering. The next morning, Ryan, Carly, and Luke brought their cans to school. They went by the barrel to drop them off. Look at all these cans, said Carly. I knew it would work. At recess, they counted the cans. They ended up with six, ba oh, six big bags of 100, three small bags of 10, and five single cans. Okay, remember, we're thinking about how this relates to place value. This guy says that's 635, even more than we had at the park. We're going to double check him. You do have bags of 100. You've got groups of 100. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, three, six. Six groups of 100 gives you 600. You have three groups of 10, that is 30. And you have five cans. I cut off the other can, I'm sorry. So <laughs> this is 635. Carly wrote the total on the sign. Mrs. Watson walked by. You're going to need bigger bags, she said. I'll bring some in tomorrow. Now I want you to think, if they're at 691 and they're bundling in bags of, with 100 cans in a bag, that's the biggest they have right now, the teacher says you'll need some bigger bags. Think about what place value comes next. And I want you to predict, I want you to infer, what do you think? will be the number on the big bag. How many cans do you think will fit in the next largest bag? Right now we're at 100. What would be next? Let's see if you're right. So here they added up their numbers and they got 691. They're trying to get 5,000, remember that. When Ryan, Carly, and Luke checked the barrel the next day, it was overflowing. We better ask Mrs. Jones for more for some more barrels," said Carly. They had one bag of one thousand. Were you right? Four bags of one hundred, eight bags of ten, and three single cans. Okay, I kind of cut that off because I needed this to fit. So, one thousand four hundreds. So one thousand four hundreds, eight bags of ten. Which is 80 and three cans, three. So right here, this is like expanded form. 
and this is standard form. Carly wrote the total on the sign and remember to put the comma between the thousands and the hundreds because remember, a comma separates the periods. So they're going to add it to what they already have and now they have 2,174. And he's saying, that's still a long way from 5,000. Here's the other half of the bags that I didn't get. Ryan, Carly, and Luke kept working. Luke put signs up all over school. On Saturday, the members of the Save the Planet Club knocked on every door in their neighborhoods. They handed out Ryan's flyer and carried big bags for people's empty cans. Here's a fact. Recycling one aluminum can saves enough energy to keep a 100 watt light bulb burning for about three and a half hours. Get all those cans. On Monday morning, Ryan, Carly, and Luke couldn't dump their cans into the collection barrels because they were already full. At recess, they counted cans. By the time recess was over, they still weren't done. Mrs. Watson said they could skip spelling to finish counting. And you didn't think this was a good idea, Carly teased Luke. Great, no spelling today. All right, this one I did put together. Finally, they finished. They had two huge bags of 1,000. So two groups of 1,000 which they have a two here in the thousands place. Eight big bags of 100, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Five small bags of 10, one, two, three, four, five, and two single cans. I don't know where the two cans are, but there's a two in their ones place. That's almost 3,000. It's 2,852 to be exact. Remember how to read numbers. Let's read that together. 2,852. Okay. Luke wrote the numbers down. We did it, he shouted. And with the 2,174 we had before, plus 2,852, it's 5,026. So later on in this unit, we'll do addition with regrouping. If you can already do re addition with regrouping, you are amazing. Give yourself a pat on the back and say, I rock. All right. Last page. Mrs. Watson took the cans to the recycling center right after school. And Sunday morning, she drove Carly, Luke, and Ryan to the plant nursery. So a plant nursery is just a place where they have a bunch of plants, like they're growing a bunch of plants, different types of plants. And since they start growing them as seeds, babies, back to that science, they start growing them as seeds. That's why they call them a nursery. Just like when you drop your baby brother or sister off at daycare, they go to the nursery because that's for the babies. So the plants are baby plants and they're grown in the nursery to big plants. Okay, finishing this last sentence. They each picked out flowers in their favorite colors. All right, that is the end of the story. So we tied in a little bit of science so you can tell Mr. Johnson that you learned about a plant nursery, learned about recycling, you learned about Earth Day. Okay, you can talk to him about that stuff. What I want you to do for me is remember, you are going to either answer the questions on the Google form, you're gonna tell me which story you read, which this one is called Earth Day, hooray. You're going to tell me how this relates or connects to what we've learned this week. What can you pull out of that story that we read to connect it to place value because that's what we're learning about. This wasn't just a fun story, it has a meaning. Why did we read this story? 
If you don't want to type it, you may create a flip grid. The video can only be one minute, 30 seconds. And you can share and tell me, tell the class, what did you learn from the story? How does it connect to what we've learned this week in math? Okay, that is your Friday job for homework. I hope that you enjoyed the story. One more time, it was called Earth Day Hooray. And I will see you on Monday. Hey, I'm a rapper. Let me know if you got if you got my rap, my rhyme. All right, see you on Monday. Bye.